Who knew that the man behind some of the biggest hits in the music industry would be at the center of a scandal that rocked the world? This is not a tale that is unique to one individual. Instead, it's a narrative that has been played out in various arenas, time and again. It's a tale as old as time, steeped in power, influence, and the not-so-glamorous side of the music business. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the saga of Sir Lucian Grange and the scandal that caused tremors across the globe, shaking the very foundations of the industry. Born in London and not to an exceptionally wealthy family, Lucian Grange was just an average man with a passion for music. His humble beginnings as a record producer were marked by perseverance and a relentless drive to succeed. He started off in local studios, working on small projects and honing his skills. His hard work bore fruit as he gradually started creating a name for himself in the industry. His keen ear for talent was soon noticed the higher ups, and before he knew it, he was climbing the ranks quickly. His rise was meteoric, leaving many of his contemporaries in awe and a little bit of envy. However, Grange was not one to let success get to his head. He focused on his work, always seeking out new talent and promoting the undiscovered gems in the music industry. Over the years, he became synonymous with Universal Music Group, one of the most significant music conglomerates in the world. He was the face of the company, the man at the helm, steering ship through the turbulent waters of the music industry. His leadership was marked by numerous victories, chart-topping hits, and the discovery of several iconic artists. But the journey to the top is never easy. It's a path fraught with obstacles, and for Grange, it was no different. The higher he rose, the greater the scrutiny he faced. Every decision he made, artist he signed, was under constant examination. And as is often the case, the glare of this spotlight revealed some disturbing facts. Rumors began to swirl around Grange, hints of an impending scandal that threatened to overshadow his illustrious career. Whispers of inappropriate behavior, misuse of power, and shady dealings began to circulate. The music world held its breath, waiting for the impending fallout. The scandal hit like a hurricane, causing shockwaves that reverberated through the music industry. It was a blow that many didn't see coming. Despite the rumors, few had expected the magnitude of the scandal. The man who had once been revered was now at the center of a storm, the fallout of which threatened to undo all the good he had done. As the dust settled, the music industry was left reeling. The shock of the scandal still hung heavy in the air. People were left questioning the integrity of their idols, wondering about the true cost of fame and success. But as is often the case, with great power comes great scrutiny. Scene script. Fast forward to the early 2020s, when the first decade of the millennium had drawn to a, the world was rapidly spiraling into a new era of technology and innovation. In the midst of these exciting advancements, a cloud of suspicion began to creep into the music industry. At its epicenter, whispers of Grange's misconduct began to circulate. These whispers, delicate as they were, reverberated through the industry's corridors of power, spreading fear and uncertainty among those who heard them. But what was the nature of these whispers? The allegations were serious, misuse of company funds, manipulation of charts, and exploitation of artists. The first allegation was misuse of company funds, an offense that, if proven, would not just tarnish Grange's reputation, but could lead to legal repercussions. It was rumored that he'd been diverting resources meant for the company's growth into personal ventures, a clear violation of fiduciary responsibility. Next were whispers of manipulation of charts. This was a grave accusation, for it hinted at an unfair playing field, where talent and hard work were no longer the sole determinants of an artist's success. The accusation suggested an industry where the scales were tipped, where certain artists were given an unfair head start over others thanks to Grange's alleged manipulation. Then came the most severe of the allegations, exploitation of artists. This cast a dark shadow not only on Grange but on the entire industry. It claimed that artists, the very heart and soul of the music world, were being manipulated, coerced, and taken advantage of for financial gain. The prospect of such a reality was harrowing, a chilling reminder of the potential pitfalls that come with power and influence. 
These whispers, though hushed and unverified, had the power to shake the industry to its. They suggested a world where the very pillars of fairness and integrity that the industry was built upon were being challenged. It brought to light the underbelly of an industry that was often glamorized, revealing a potential darkness that lurked beneath the surface. Yet, despite the gravity of these allegations, the repercussions seemed to be largely absent. The whispers were there, yet action seemed to be lacking. This lack of action raised questions about the industry's willingness to hold its own to account. Could it be that Grange's influence was so profound that it shielded him from consequence? But for a long time, these remained just that, whispers. Silent murmurs in the backdrop of a booming industry, a quiet undertone that was often drowned out by the noise of success and glamour. Unheard, unaddressed, and largely ignored, these whispers would continue to circulate, casting a shadow on an otherwise thriving industry. Then, in the summer of 2023, the whispers grew louder. The murmurings, the hushed exchanges, the discreet insinuations burgeoned into loud proclamations. There was a distinct and unsettling shift in the atmosphere, a seismic ripple that sent tremors through the music world with an intensity that was impossible to ignore. It was as if a storm was brewing, its thunderous roars echoing the people's fear and anticipation. It was the year of whispers that started off as a subdued rustling of leaves and transformed into a deafening cyclone of accusations and speculations. An anonymous source known only by the cryptic moniker Truth Reveal instigated the tempest. This nebulous character emerged from the shadows, a harbinger of a storm, a cryptic voice in the swirling winds of the music world that sent shockwaves rippling through its very core. This faceless hero or assumed villain, depending on where one stood, started leaking documents and testimonies. These weren't ordinary pieces of paper revelations that painted a damning, almost sinister picture of Grange's actions. The documents were like puzzle pieces, fitting together to form a shocking portrait of deception and exploitation. The music world held its breath, teetering on the precipice of a scandal that threatened to topple the pillars of its... It was like watching a suspenseful thriller, a ticking bomb waiting to explode and shatter the calm veneer of the industry. Everyone's eyes were wide open, waiting, watching for the other shoe to drop. A feeling of dread hung in the air, every heartbeat echoing the seconds ticking away, and drop it did. On a chilly morning in November 2023, the scandal erupted. It was like a volcano, long dormant, finally spewing its searing truth, burning all that stood in its path. Truth Reveal released a series of documents that allegedly showed Grange manipulating chart placements. Not just a minor tweak here or there, but a strategic, calculated manipulation that tampered with the sanctity of the music world's hierarchies. The documents exposed his alleged misuse of company funds, not for the growth and prosperity of the industry, but for his personal gain, tarnishing the glittering facade of his stardom. Moreover, the revelations unveiled a darker side of Grange's persona. They depicted him exploiting young, hopeful artists desperate for a shot at stardom, their dreams crushed under the weight of his alleged deceit. The music world was in turmoil, its rhythm disrupted, its melody out of tune. The soothing symphony turned into a discordant noise, the harmony lost in the cacophony of accusations and betrayals. Amidst this backdrop of chaos and confusion, at the center of this vortex of speculations stood Sir Lucian Grange. He was the epicenter of this earthquake that was shaking the bedrock of the music world, threatening to dismantle its long-standing institutions. He was the face that was being scrutinized, his every action dissected under the harsh spotlight, his legacy hanging in the balance. The music world was in turmoil, and at the center of it all was Sir Lucian Grange. In the months that followed, the scandal unfolded like a well-orchestrated symphony. Every day began with the sunrise, heralding a new surge of media frenzy. Newspapers, television channels, and social media were all brimming with updates, each piece of news on the scandal acting like a new note in the symphony of deceit and humiliation. The world couldn't help but watch, their eyes glued to screens, their ears tuned to the constant hum of speculation. Every breakfast table was adorned with headlines that screamed the latest developments. Every office water cooler became a hub for the exchange of rumors and theories. This scandal, with its intriguing twists and turns, had the public in its grip, 
its thrilling crescendo echoing far and wide. The revelations like a set of dominoes toppled one after the other. The unexplained wealth, millions stashed away in hidden bank accounts. Then came the accusations of insider trading. The evidence was so damning that it left even the skeptics silent. Following this, the discovery of fraudulent contracts signed under pseudonyms was a bombshell that shook the industry to its core. With every revelation, the golden boy's halo seemed to tarnish a little more. His glittering persona was now being replaced with a persona non grata. The once charming, ever smiling golden boy was now being dissected, his actions being scrutinized under the harshest of lights. The industry, which had once fawned over his every word, now watched in. They saw their once adored figure become a pariah, an embodiment of all that was wrong with the system. The shock was palpable, the disappointment tangible. The industry was coming to the harrowing realization that their golden boy had feet of clay. The scandal, however, did more than just tarnish the reputation of an industry maverick. It also served as a wake-up call to the industry. It forced them to take a long, hard look at their practices, pushing them to understand the need for transparency and integrity. Conversations around ethics and accountability began picking up steam, bringing about a shift in the industry's perspective. Each day brought something new, a revelation, a consequence, a lesson. The symphony of the scandal was far from beautiful, yet it was captivating, forcing the world to listen, to understand, and to change. The scandal had become a turning point, a moment in time that would forever be etched in the annals of the industry. The industry watched in disbelief as the man who had once been their golden boy was now their biggest disgrace. In summary, the Lucian Grange scandal was a daunting and tumultuous chapter in the music industry. It was a moment in time that cast a long, haunting shadow, stretching far beyond the confines of mere entertainment. This was not just a scandal, it was a profound upheaval that rocked the music industry to its very core and exposed the horrifying depths to which those in power could sink. It showed us in no uncertain terms the extremes they would go to, the desperate measures they would resort to in order to maintain their position, their prestige, their dominance. This scandal was not merely an isolated incident. It was an eye-opening revelation of the system's inner workings and the relentless, ruthless game of power and control. It highlighted the dubious machinations of the industry's honchos, the invisible strings they pull, and the lives they casually toy in their pursuit of power and profit. It was a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked power, a chilling wake-up call to the need for oversight, transparency, and accountability in an industry often shrouded in glamour and mystique. From humble beginnings in the bustling boroughs of London to the glittering heights as the head of a colossal music empire, the journey of Sir Lucian Grange was nothing short of extraordinary, was a rise that has been the stuff of legends, a meteoric ascension that had the world watching in awe. He was a man who could command the attention of millions with a single phrase, a man who possessed the power to shape and reshape the musical landscape as he saw fit. But with such overwhelming power came an equally daunting sense of responsibility, a burden he seemed ill-prepared to shoulder. His fall from grace was not a sudden plunge into oblivion, but an agonizing descent into disgrace. It was a fall that was as public as his rise had been private, a spectacle that unfolded in the harsh glare of the media spotlight. It left the world reeling, struggling to reconcile the image of the mighty mogul with the man who had crumbled under the weight of his own actions. It was a downfall that sent shockwaves through the industry, a seismic event that shook the very foundations of the music world. The ripples of his fall from grace continue to be felt, raising questions about the true nature of power and influence in the music industry. It's a tale that still haunts the industry, a ghost story that serves as a cautionary tale to all those who dare to dream of a life in the spotlight, of the dangers of unchecked ambition, of the perils that lurk beneath the surface of success. The saga of Sir Lucian Grange, a man who wielded power and influence like few others but ultimately fell victim to his own actions, is a saga that will continue to resonate. It's a tale that will continue to serve as a cautionary tale for all those who dare to dream of a life in the spotlight. As we close this chapter, remember, the truth may be elusive, but it is never beyond our reach. Brought to you by The Truth Reveal, 
we stand firm in our commitment to unmask the hidden, to reveal the concealed, and to ensure that no voice goes unheard. Until next time, keep seeking, keep questioning, for the truth is out there, waiting to be discovered. Before we conclude, let's take a moment to appreciate the journey we've embarked on together. As we stand on the precipice of revelation, let's remember all the unspoken stories, the unsung heroes, and the hidden truths we've brought to light. But remember, for every mystery solved, a new one arises, waiting to be unraveled. This is not the end, but a new beginning. The journey continues, with new paths to tread, new stories to uncover, and new truths to reveal. We hope you stay with us as we delve deeper, push harder, and shine brighter in the quest for truth. Until we meet again, keep the flame of curiosity burning bright. Keep seeking, keep questioning, keep revealing. The truth is out there and together we will find it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until next time, this is The Truth Reveal, signing off.